What's going on YouTube? It's Jen and Tim Outdoors again. Listen, today is September the 1st, 2019, and tomorrow in South Carolina is opening day of dove season. I decided to make this little video for you, show you a few things that I use in the field, and give you some tips to remember before you go out into the field to shoot them fluffy little feathered animals that taste so good with cream cheese and bacon. How about that? But anyway, let's get to the point. I wanted to remind you that it's important for you to read your rule book if you don't have an understanding of what the limit is on how many doves you are allowed to shoot opening day of dove season and what time you can start shooting doves. Now, I'm going to tell you that I have looked into the rule book and I have read it. Uh, it's pretty clear. I, I advise you to go by your local sporting goods store and pick you up a rule book for 2019-2020. That way you understand the rules and regulations that the state of South Carolina has put in um, in a spot just for us to follow so we don't violate those rules or those game laws. Well, let me show you um, one of the main things you need to make sure you change this year, and it should be common sense, but we do have a lot of youngsters that we take out, and it'll be their first time, and sometimes they, Daddy, I want to go dove hunting. Well, um so and so said I could go with them. Can I go? And they'll say, Yeah, son, go grab a shotgun. Well, the young man will go in there and grab a shotgun, or the young lady will grab a shotgun and they'll go with the neighbor down the street or somebody from school. And the thing is, sometimes our parents, they get so busy out here, we forget to say, Well, hold on, daughter, hold on, son, let me check the shotgun. First of all, they need to make sure they don't have an extended choke in there, I should say. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, you know, this one here is something you would use for duck. I use this for uh, dog driving, uh, hunting deer. Uh, I shoot buckshot out of it. And, um, and the other thing is, is we need to make sure that we have a plug in the gun. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I almost forgot which one I was holding, but this is for a Remington. Um, but, it, you know, just make sure you got the, the right plug in your shotgun. Um, it only allows you to put three uh, shot shells in, in your gun. That is a regulation uh, with DNR. We need to make sure we can only put three shells and that's all we have in a gun at one time. Um, just to keep yourself from getting getting a hefty little fine or having your uh, hunting privileges taken away. And plus it's fair to everyone else. It's ethical hunting folks and we must follow the game laws of the law of the land at the time that we're in. Um, one other thing is, is make sure that you have your hunting license. Um, make sure you have the migrating bird permit on there, of course. Um, a lot of times, if you are stopped in the field by a game warden and you have your hunting license, uh, residential big game hunting uh, hunting license, and you don't have the migrating bird on there, a lot of times those officers understand uh, opening day. A lot of folks uh, overlook that or they just didn't know. Um, like anybody else would say, ignorance is no excuse for the rules and regulations in the game management uh, game book. But a lot of officers would just write you up a warning and say, um, go ahead and stop hunting for the rest of the afternoon, go get that taken care of, and come back out next weekend. Um, and you won't cost you any money. They just give you a good uh, a verbal warning most of the time or a written warning. Um, but that's always good to know is you need the migrating bird permit. Okay, guys? Um, one other thing is make sure you, uh, you oil down your shotgun. Um, I recommend the, the rim oil to give it a good wipe down and cleaning with oil. And then after you've wiped it down, I recommend this Hops number no. 9. It's a gun oil. I give it a few drops on all the mechanics, sometimes even on my choke tube. You know, uh, oil the threads a little bit. And then um, screw the, uh, the choke tube back in. Just hand tighten it. Don't wrench it down real tight with a, or the, uh, a choke wrench. A lot of times uh, people will tighten it down so tight they can't hardly get it back out to put the other chokes in there when duck season comes around or even deer season. These are just some tips. I'm not an expert, but I feel like maybe, you know, it's the day before dove season um, and we need to, you know, just help fellas out in the field, especially give the youngsters some good advice on some things to look at. Um, one thing uh, too is if, if you have a gun cleaning kit and you know you're going on a large dove shoot, where there's other people at, bring your gun cleaning kit. Cause I can promise you, if you're going on enough dove shoots, there'll be somebody there 
who will have an issue with uh, their pump shotgun or an, or an automatic shotgun or something. They'll need some oil. They might need a screwdriver. They might need some cleaning pads. They might need to get, you never know what you run into in the dove field. Um, and those are just some things. But one most important thing is, is make sure uh, you bring out your, 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 uh, your bug repellent. <laughs> So now the mosquitoes can get pretty rough even in the, in the heat of the day. Um, or don't forget, let me make sure I show you this, don't forget your refills for your thermocells, okay? Um, if you got that, that's a plus. That helps keep those mosquitoes away from you. Um, bottom line is just be safe. Don't shoot no low birds, okay? Um, if it's a low bird, holler low bird so the next man down the wood line sees it. So that way he knows that's a low bird and you let it go by and there's no need to have an accident in the hunting field and uh, shoot somebody over a low bird or, or just, you know, not because they didn't put any thought in it. But um, one of the things I like to share with you is the, the kind of shotgun that I use. Um, I use a fairly uh, cheap model shotgun. Uh, it's been a great shotgun. I've never had any issues with it. I've had it for years. Um, let me show it to you. This here is uh, my, uh, this is a Mossberg Maverick. And it actually is, is empty, nothing in it. I checked it before I started making this video. And if you will look, you'll see I've got the modified choke in there. Now some people like to shoot, um, an improved in, in it for dove hunting but me I like to shoot the modified it seems to work good for me um, I shoot uh, seven and a half and eight shot uh, dove load and it depends sometimes I might just have a target load you know and and and, and that work good too uh, this old clay clay target uh, rounds and I'll, I'll shoot them let me set this back over here out the way don't uh, don't want it to fall over there leaning against the table but anyway these are just some tips I thought maybe I would just bring up to your attention I hope everyone will enjoy this video I hope there was something in here that was helpful to you and I just want to ask you if you'll do one thing for me guys hunt safe think about the next man to your right and your left give glory to God for letting you be out there and hunt and let's remember the folks down there in Florida right now who are bearing down on the coast with a hurricane is coming straight out. Remember them in your prayers. And I just also want to ask you if you'll give this video here a like and would you share it too? And also would you subscribe to the channel? It sure would help Jen and Tim Outdoors out. I'd like to see the uh, subscribers uh, go up. I'd like to see the channel grow. I'd like to see that what I'm posting is good, is good stuff for people. That people really enjoy these kinds of videos. Um, I really do appreciate all the support guys. Uh, from everyone who has been liking the videos and sharing the channel with others and all the subscribers out there You know a lot of the times uh, I wouldn't make these videos if I didn't know they weren't helping or if people weren't interested And I really appreciate it, but I don't want to forget one important thing that you need to go dove shoot um, On a dove shoot You'll need you a good dove vest, okay? It's got a pocket on each side. It's got a, a pocket in the back for your doves to uh, go in, of course. And, and in the pockets on each side, let me see. I don't even remember what I got. Okay, I got the, uh, looks like I'm shooting the Winchester, 12 gauge, seven and a half shot. They're two and three quarter ounce, uh, uh, two and three quarter inches, I'm sorry. Uh, I said what I shoot. And um, they're, they're a really good shell to shoot. I don't know a lot of folks have particular bullets, but as long as it has lead in it and it's seven and a half, eight shot, and it'll knock a dove down, I will shoot it, right? But um, let me show you. Let me hold that right there so you can see. But that's uh, that's what I'm shooting. Um, got a couple boxes. Normally I only take about two boxes with me. I, I end up getting a handful of doves and that's about all I need. Um, I know you can shoot the limit and people be just as happy with that, but I think the limit would be more than what I need, but I, I'll take all I can get anyway because I like to freeze them and, and have them later on um, in the future. But I'll tell you, the one, one thing you got to know to have, and what I'm telling you, if you're sitting on the edge of a cut corn field or maybe a sunflower patch, you know, where you planted a food plot to keep the doves coming, is get you a good good sun hat you hear me something that breathes a little bit you can see through that hat right yeah your head it needs to breathe because i'm gonna tell you ain't no difference 
and, and running in the gym and getting hot and being out there in the field, you're going to get hot if you don't have something to let your head breathe. But um, I like to I like to wear this old hat right here. Yep. And I'm going to tell you what. It keeps the sun off the back of your neck, your ears, your front of your nose, your forehead, and your chin. And it's pretty cool, too, because, I mean, it, it breathes pretty good. But uh, I do like my visor hat. But it's going to be hot. I'm pretty sure tomorrow. Hopefully the sun won't be beating down on us too much and we'll be able to find a shady limb hanging over the edge of a field. But if you're not and you know where you're going to be sitting at, if you're not going to be sitting in on the edge of a field where there's a limb hanging over and you know the area where you sit at is going to be out in the open, I advise you um, to keep your head covered, stay cool, bring, pl bring, bring, excuse me, tongue twist, bring plenty to drink, stay hydrated. Don't fall out in the field and have a heat stroke down. Let's make it fun and remember to stay safe. And guys, I really want to tell you again, thank you for watching Gin and Tim Outdoors and all the hunting videos. It means a lot to me uh, and everything that we do on Gin and Tim Outdoors. Like I said, we do a little bit of everything on Gin and Tim Outdoors. And if you will remember to please share, and like, and subscribe to the channel, I would be much grateful. Thank you so much for watching. Gin and Tim Outdoors, guys, and we'll see you in the field.